think what we're seeing is that OPEC is no particular friend of oil price softness, gasoline prices going down, the Biden administration, et cetera. So I think that uh, what we're seeing is that uh, despite what people wish, we're going to see some pretty sticky energy inflation uh, as we move forward over the next couple of years. OPEC supporting price. We haven't done anything to add uh, meaningful supply. And so any improvement in, in the demand side of the picture is likely to, to really strengthen prices. And then you're back in the soup with, with high gasoline prices here in the States and globally. And there's so many moving parts to this, uh, Dan, that it's, uh, it's hard to kind of, uh, you know, join the dots and, and, and understand the whole picture in one go. I'm just uh, reading a, a piece that's out on Reuters, and I don't know whether you would have an immediate comment, but I still take my chance. Uh, India is going to raise uh, prices of locally produced gas uh, to a record 8.57 uh, MMBTU, uh, $8.57 per MMBTU, uh, which is a 40% increase. Of course, it stokes, worries about stoking local inflation. But other than that, it also kind of makes the picture quite murky globally in terms of where prices are headed and how much headroom for increase is still there. Yeah, I think, I think what's happening in India and other places, it highlights this gap between subsidized prices and global prices. And so, there's only so much support you can do for the demand side of the equation before it gets really, really expensive. And we've seen a number of governments uh, over the past year have to come off of their subsidized price closer to market prices. Consumers don't like it. We've seen riots in places around the world. And so I think what it tells you is that we're going to have this push-pull between price and demand for the foreseeable future. And uh, until we see some meaningful demand contraction, you're, you're, sure. you're likely to see fairly high prices.